In this video, we're going to use Python in Excel to sum values in a data set and group by certain categories in that same data set. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. I have a data set of loan records. I have fields like location and loan type. Over here is the Python output where it totals the amount column and groups by the location and the loan type and also formats the amount column. Now before I get into this I just want to mention that Python is currently only available with Office 365 subscribers who have the beta version. Now if you have Office 365 you can get the beta version for free um, I'll put a link in the description of this video on how to do that. It's not hard, and as I said, it's free. It's just, it's a test version of Excel, and it is occasionally prone to bugs, just FYI, but the upside is you get the latest updates in Excel. So the first thing we want to do is create a data frame that holds our data. So in Python, a data frame, well, the name is really the definition. It's just an object that holds data, such as an Excel range or an Excel table. So to do that, I'm gonna come down here, click equals PY, hit tab. That's automatically gonna create a Python input box where we can enter code. So to create a data frame, you really just give it an acronym. Most folks use DF or D, so I'll just use D. Set that equal to the range we want to store in that data frame. Now, to actually input this, you have to hit Control Enter, not just Enter. If you hit Enter, it's going to come down on a new line because it thinks you want to add additional code. So Control Enter creates a data frame. If I click on this icon, it's going to show a preview of the data with all the fields and the first and last five records. Now, if we want to see everything, you can click in the cell, come up to this formula bar, click Excel value. It will show everything that's in that data frame. But we want to collapse it back. So down below here, we're going to input equals py again tab we're going to create another data frame this time we're going to create a variable data frame called results that refers to our original so that is d and then dot and then group by and then we're going to reference the columns over here that we want to group by now fyi your column header names cannot have spaces between the words so use underscores so since we have multiple columns that we want to group our totals by, we need to nest that in a set of brackets. And each column header must be enclosed in single quotes. So we have location, loan type. Right after that, closing parentheses, we have another set of brackets. And then we're going to reference the column we want to total on. So we have original amount and following that we're going to use the sum function and following that we're going to reset index. Now what this reset index does in a nutshell is it just makes the results look cleaner on the spreadsheet. Sometimes there's like a weird hierarchy structure that can sometimes make the results of a grouping look odd. So reset index, long story short, just makes the output look cleaner. So I'll hit control enter. This is going to create a data frame so we can click on Excel value to see how it looks. So we have our groupings there with the amounts totaled. Now you obviously see it needs to be formatted and the easiest approach is really just to click on the column and format it up here but you know there may be folks who would prefer to format this in python itself which i found a little bit challenging but definitely doable 
um, it's, although it seems a little bit roundabout. So that's what I'm going to show you next. So I'm going to click back in here, hit F2 to go back into our Python code. I'm going to hit enter a few times to come down here and add some additional code. So we're going to create a variable called C format for currency for format. And this is going to be a variable that just simply holds the required syntax to format a value in currency in Python. So it begins with single quote, dollar sign, curly bracket, colon, comma, dot, 2F, closing curly bracket, closing single quote. So we're going to refer to our results data frame, and we're going to create a new column called total. And it's really going to be equal. It's really, I guess it's going to be a copy of the original amount column. So I'm just going to copy that and change this to the original amount. And it's going to be a copy of the original amount column formatted. So what we're going to use here is the apply method. And that allows you to pass the lambda function to its values in that column. So we have a variable called x that just represents all the values in this column. And then we're going to refer to our C format variable and then format method and we're going to refer to that variable so that that applies our formatting style to all of the values in that column and then stores it in this new column variable so the final thing we need to do is reference our results data frame and then refer to all of the columns we want to display in our final output. So that requires a double set of brackets and then a reference to the columns we want to display. So we definitely want to pick up the total column we just created and not the original amount because that is the one that's actually formatted with this currency. So I'm going to hit control and enter. And now there it is. All our amounts are formatted and grouped by those categories. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.